Welcome to this product demonstration termination video for a Category 6 shielded Keystone Jack. When you receive your connectors, they're going to be individually bagged with a complete bill of materials. You want to have ripped the perforated side of the bag and dump out your contents. The parts that come with this, you're going to have the strain relief, you're going to have the outer shell which comes off the connector, it takes a little bit of work to pop it off, and then you're going to have a piece of copper tape. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the shell up the cable. So the shell goes up the cable, come out of the way. Now I'm going to do a two inch strip on the jacket. So using a cigar cutter style stripper, I'm going to use the minimum spin, go about two inches. Pop off the jacket. The shield is going to have a seam on it. You want to find this seam and follow it all the way down to the jacket. Take your pair of diagonal cutters and you go ahead and nip it and just peel that right off. You're going to have your drain wire, fold that back against the jacket. The polyester binder that's on the cable, you can grip it on the end here and just kind of pull it down, find the seam and do the same thing you did with the foil shield, nip it on the seam and peel that off. Now you're going to pull your pairs off to one side. We'll kind of spread these out 90 degrees away. You want to remove the center spline. The center spline has these uh, legs on them, they call them flutes. You want to use the flush side of the diagonal cutters and just cut in at a nice 45 degree angle. Go in as deep as you can and don't cut your conductors. Do all four splines. Peel that off. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my copper tape on. So copper tape, I'm going to start. Depending on your fingernails and dexterity, you can peel it off with your fingers or you can use a pair of diagonal cutters to catch the little edge and lift it away. You want to put your copper tape on so it does not go past the jacket. If it goes past the jacket, you could possibly puncture your insulation and cause a short. So you want to just set it up close to the end of the jacket as possible, wrap it tightly around, pull your drain wire off and then trim off your excess. Now your next step is going to be on your connector itself, you, the blue and the brown don't change. The green and the orange pairs do change depending on your color codes. You want to line this up to fit your, your cable. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, line my blue pair, my brown pair, and then I'm looking at the B side, so I want green over here and, and orange over here. So I'm kind of lining them up. So what I want to do now is I want to partially untwist these pairs at the base and not at the front. So I'm going to go ahead and spin the brown around a few times to a uh, open up a loop and I want to be able to line in the color code and then I can do that with the blue also. Kind of give it a couple twists just to open up the twisting. Again lining this up in the color code. Now I can lay these two pairs down inside the connector. I'm going to line them up in the slots, kind of push them down. It's advantageous here to have a small 110 insertion tool. These are rather inexpensive tools that are available. And you can push these conductors down inside the slots. You want to seat these firmly in place to make sure they're in the slots. Now I'm going to line up my other color codes. I want to do a 568B, so I want green over here and I want orange over here. So untwist. Line them up, drop them in, seat the pairs. So once all the pairs are seated in here, I'm ready to do my crimping. So taking the crimp tool, kind of a little bit of information about the crimp tool here. It has a latch to hold the handles closed when it's not in use. That latch can sometimes get in the way when you're trying to close the thing. So you want to go ahead and put the latch into this carrying slot up here so it's latched down in place and not going to come loose. So it clicks in place. That means you can go ahead and crimp this now. On the tool, you see these two cavities on the side here. These are where the keystone latches actually slide in place. Kind of acts as a uh, alignment tool for the crimping. Line this up in the keystone slots. Slide it all the way in. Make sure your blades are lined up. Everything's good to go and then you can go ahead and crimp your conductors. 
So the termination crimp is done. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this clear strain relief and where the cable folds in, straighten this out, lay this up in here, clip it down. Once you have your clear strain relief clipped on place, then you can slide your shield cavity basically back up over the cable. And then on the back side here, this is a grounding clamp to latch this. You can either use a pair of pliers or your fingers, but you can close this and pinch it tight. You can hear it click as it uh, grips the cable, and your termination is now complete.